Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to create a voiceover using Flicky AI. In this video, we will show you how to create a free account on Flicky. We will do a walkthrough of the interface and we will show you how to create a voiceover using the AI on Flicky. So watch this video till the end to better understand the complete process. To do a voiceover using Flicky AI, you need an account on the platform. For this, click on Start Creating at the top right corner. On the sign up page, you can continue with your Google, Facebook or LinkedIn account or you can go ahead and use your email address. Here we are continuing with email, so enter the email ID here and click on the next button. Now click on the Send Verification Code button. Check your email for the verification code. Copy it and paste it here and then click on the verify button. Now create a password here and enter your name here. And finally click on the finish button. After successfully signing up, you will be taken to your dashboard. This is your dashboard. Here on the top left corner, you will see two tabs which are studio and account. Under the studio tab, there are four tabs which are script. Use this tab if you want to generate an AI voiceover using your text script. Then comes videos. Use this tab if you want to generate videos along with the AI voiceover. Next is podcasts. You can use this tab if you want to create and stream your podcast using the AI voiceover. And lastly, audiobooks. You can use this tab to create your own audiobook using the AI voiceover. From the account tab, you can access your profile and see the statistics of your Flicky usage. Now we are going to demonstrate for you how to create a voiceover using this AI tool and for this we will be using the scripts tab. Use these links for quick tutorials about the interface. You can watch them or skip it for now. Let's go ahead and skip it. Click on new script on the top right corner. On the pop-up window, enter a name for your script and click on the create button. Now you will be taken to the script page. Here you will see the script's name and if you have created multiple scripts, you can switch between them from here. This is the voiceover artist's name. You can change it by clicking on it. In this pop-up window, you will see the different voiceover artists available on Flicky. And along with the name, you can see the gender as well. Apart from male and female voices, Flicky AI also has voices for children. Click on the speaker icon for a preview of the voice. You can also filter this list by using these drop-down options of language, dialect, gender and voice style. From the language drop-down, you can select any language and here you will see that there are languages from all countries including some local languages. After selecting the language, you can filter more by using the dialect drop-down. And here you can see there are dialects from many countries. For those of you who don't understand what dialect is, well, dialect is a regional variety of language distinguished by features of vocabulary, grammar and pronunciation from other regional varieties and constituting together with them a single language. So after selecting the dialect, you can select the gender. And finally, you can select the voice style from this drop-down menu. You have options of many voice styles like angry, cheerful, customer service and more. After applying all the filters, select your AI voice and then click on the select button. Now you will see that the AI voice artist has been changed. Here in this box, you can start typing your script or you can paste it from the clipboard. After adding your script, click on this play icon to listen to the AI generated voiceover and below the script box in the right corner, you will see the audio length of your script. You can also add a background music along with the AI voice. For this, click on background music on the top right side and then click on the choose music file button. In the pop-up window, you can select a flicky background music from the stock library tab or else you can also add your own music using this My Library tab. Under the Stock Library tab, you can use this search bar to search for a specific score. And in the list below the name, you will find details or tags 
like the instruments used, regional information and emotions. Click on the speaker icon to listen to the score and once you have selected your background score, click on it. Use this slider to adjust the volume of the music and if you are not happy with the music overall, use this remove music button or else click on the save button and then this background music will be added to the voiceover. This is the pronunciation map tab. From here you can manage pronunciations of words such as names and acronyms to apply while generating the audio for your script. First click on the voice for which you want to create this pronunciation map and then here enter the original word for which the pronunciation needs to be changed and then enter the correct pronunciation. After adding the words use this play icon to listen to it. And once you're satisfied, click on this tick icon and then here you will see that the pronunciation map has been created. Now you can close this pop-up window. On your script, if you select any word, you will see options like tune, add pause and pronounce. From the tune option, you can change the rate, pitch and clear the voice. From the add pause option, you can add a pause to the voiceover. Enter the time of the pause in seconds in this box over here and then you can go ahead and click the OK button. After that you will see that the pause has been added to the script. And the last option over here is pronounce. You can use it to listen to the pronunciation of any selected word. Now if you click on these three dots over here you will see options like change voice, duplicate, upload audio file and lastly download. If you want to add new lines to your script, use this plus icon and then you can follow the same process of changing the voice, adding the text, adding background music etc. just like we had shown for the first line. In this way you can select different voices and different background music for separate lines of your script. After adding all the lines to the script and selecting the voices, adding the background music, etc., click on this play icon at the bottom of the page to listen to the complete AI-generated voiceover for your script. And once you're satisfied with everything, click on this download icon to download the AI-generated voiceover in MP3 format. You can go ahead and use this audio easily anywhere as you wish. With this, we have completed our tutorial on how to create a voiceover using Flicky AI. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on a specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.